Hey, what is up, you guys? A talking badger here. I keep on wanting to say one mean badger, even though I changed changed my name quite a while ago. Anyways, I am bringing you this video today. It's a different one. I haven't done one like this yet. Um, w what I'm doing is I'm doing my first um diagonal stage, realistic looking stage, baseball stadium concert. And that was a mouthful. By realistic looking, I mean when I did my like big festival where I had a bunch of classic rock bands in it. Um, I did do a couple concerts with a diagonal stage, um, but it wasn't very realistic the setup. It was just a simple concrete brick diagonal stage with a curtain at the back. That's it. This obviously is going to be a lot better looking. Anyways. Um, but yeah, we're here at uh, my replica of Angel Stadium. It obviously doesn't look like that on the outside. It used to, but a year and a half ago, my save disappeared. I had to go to a backup, which had pretty much nothing down, nothing down, nothing done on these seats, the seats, the stadium. I can't speak today. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's not finished on the outside anymore, and the inside isn't as finished as it should be. It doesn't have like the scoreboards that Angel Stadium has or the light towers anymore. It used to. It's going to be fun to have to build those again. At least I have pictures though. That's the good thing. I took pictures throughout the build so I'm not completely lost, you know. But anyways, so I just put in this temporary entrance to get up into the stadium. So um, so I just want to go ahead and give you a little tour of this setup. Here's the stage right here. And I just love how this turned out with the screens and everything. It's Billy Joel is going to be the first concert here in Angel Stadium. And, um, and we're also going to be having one over at my indoor Fenway Park. I call it the Fenway Cube. And, um, I'll show you that soon. Also in, um... Let's see, where is it? Probably put a stairway up here or something. Actually, no, I can probably put it right. Uh, I'll come up with something, but I want to put in a little concession stand because I also am selling um, concert t-shirts at these concerts. Obviously, it's money in the game, not in real life. That'd be silly, <laughs> but actually, it's $15 in real life. Anyways, um, so I'm going to uh, use Anvil to name the shirt which I'll obviously make black cuz yellow that that concert shirts and normally black anyways um I'm going to name it you know Billy Joel and uh 319 2016 you know the date that it's going to be on the 19th I'm going to try to get this video up tonight which considering it'll be after midnight it'll be technically on the 17th so yeah I'll definitely have it up sometime during the 17th of March but anyways, I got a couple things here to show you, a decent amount. Um, let's see, did I? Oh, yes I did, good. Um, so yeah, this is how you get down, you know, technically go over these steps, you know, but uh, we don't always do things the conventional way. That's too, conventional is too mainstream, so yeah. Anyways. Um, but yeah, this is this is a floor section and everything here, and you got yourself a nice view right here. It's gonna be interesting because you know Billy Joel, I always have his piano sideways. So honestly, I like that it's turned like this because I always like to turn while playing. You know when it's sideways, because I like to look out you know towards the crowd. And now, right here, you can stand right there and see me playing the piano, and at the same time, look at this view. I'm gonna have during this concert. Now another thing to note. The where the sun is right now, obviously I have the daylight cycle off. Where it is right now and the lighting we have right now is how it will be when people arrive. And when it's time for the concert to begin, I'm going to start the daylight cycle and once it, you know, becomes dark and the and the moon, you know, gets to like a decent spot in the sky, is when I'm going to pause the daylight cycle again so it stays night the whole time. And come on stage, start the concert. And um but anyways, something you might have noticed is, you know, you have a little bit of light coming from the sides of the stage. That's because I had to make it to where there were windows there. 
And the reason for that is because I added something new with my lights. This is the first time I've I've connected this to the lighting. Bam! So I'm adding some beacons for the concerts, make lighting beams, you know, more realistic looking. And I'm going to try to do something, if I can find the space to do this, I want to try to put in a couple pistons that, you know, have stained glass on them so I can change the color of these throughout the concert. If I don't have the room, what I'll have to do is, gee, I'll, I'll probably just have to, you know, obviously I'll be in survival, so I'll just have to have some stacks of stained glass and just go over there and quickly change them, which I wouldn't want to do. I mean, that's not realistic, and the whole point of this year is to make it feel as realistic as possible. Otherwise, the concerts would look like me just flying around and stuff and, and like, bitch slapping people. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I also... Um, in fact, actually, I didn't check this before the video. Well, let me go ahead and check it now. Hmm. Huh. On sometimes. Well, I'm gonna fix that soon. I don't want it. Um, I don't want the beams hooked up when I do my flashy lights because, as you can see, it kind of makes it a little laggy. Um. So yeah, I'll fix that. But anyways, yeah, this is the stage here, and um, yeah, you got uh, your drum sets here and your keyboard set and stuff like that. Now, in real life, his, you know, it's like a light tower that he has in the back, you know, these things here. But I couldn't, um, behind here, I couldn't make it to where I could have three turned on. And, in fact, where do I have this hooked up? Yeah. Um, but I came up with an idea that might work, which I'll go try soon. You know, obviously not while this is rolling. The concert will have more stuff than it has right now, a little bit more, but we're pretty much set up. But here's the backstage. Yeah, that's what it looks like in the back, a bunch of crazy stuff. And I'll go ahead and take you, it'll be through the bullpen here that I get to my dressing room. But, boop a doop Billy Joel dressing room, open that door. But yeah, this is the dressing room. Nice little temporary dressing room here. I can also go bam, turn off those lights. Save energy, slam that door. But yeah, and it'll be a cool walk out to the concert. But yeah, that's what it's looking like. Good views from everywhere in the stadium. Well, everywhere that that we'd recommend you sitting. Obviously, you don't want to sit over here. Yeah. Front row seats, baby. So, uh... I don't see anything. So, yeah. No. Not everywhere in the stadium. But, hey, at least they have screens back there. But, yeah, anyways, I mean, that's, uh, I think that's really all I need to show here for now. If you, if you want to see anything else, go ahead and watch the concert once I post that. Um, due to copyright policy, it's, um, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to upload it, considering, you know, I mean, I, I've, I've tried on my concert channel, a Talking Badger Concerts, I've tried to post some concerts one of them posted and then like the other two or three that i tried posted and then just got deleted because of you know how much copyright music it had so that's not working so i'll try website you know which is really hard to upload a long video on there in fact actually if i remember correctly i think i need like some special membership so i don't know we'll see i'll post details on the channel once i get that all figured out but this here is my Fenway Cube, and um, I will show it to you. Stage isn't ready yet, but this one here, I made sure it's a packed house. I put in a, a gazillion, gazillion people here. 
a good word. But yeah, um, special shout out to to my friend Slim Shady. Um, he is uh, he is the one who who gave me the inspiration for these these people here because he has a really cool um, like EDM stage that has a bunch of people in the crowd and I'm just like hey I need to do that it took forever to do this but um, it's just pretty cool it makes it you know feel obviously a lot more packed and yeah that's gonna be cool I was thinking about doing it oh and also it's obviously there's no stage set up yet um, I was thinking about doing it in Angel Stadium but I mean that right there took a long time and Angel Stadium seats way more people so I don't know I'll think about it but I, I don't know if I'm gonna do that because it takes forever and it can there's a chance of it adding to the lag a decent bit I'm not sure but anyways I'll show one more place the other stadium that we currently have set up for concerts I just got done with a yes 360 degree concert in here and now it is set up for Phil Collins. It looks really cool at nighttime, but I have like the sun like in the perfect spot. I don't want to turn it to nighttime because then I have to turn it back to morning and have the sun all the way over there again. And yeah, but I just love how this turned out. I actually I still need to take these walls out, but it just looks cool. I just love how it looks, the speakers and everything. And this is the Phil Collins stage that he did the live and loose in Paris, and I wanted a replica of that. And uh, so yeah, this is gonna be cool. And yeah, I'm excited for this concert. That one, um, I was thinking about doing it this weekend. It might happen. I'm not entirely sure, because um, I have a little bit going on this weekend, and I want to do the Billy Joel concert first and then in Fen in the Fenway cube I wanted you know since it's kind of modeled after Fenway Park only you know my own like rendition of it I wanted a band from Boston in there and I didn't choose the band Boston because their stage you know I do a replica one and it wouldn't look good made diagonally Errol Smith same thing um but then I thought of the cars and I thought hey you know I can I can use their stage that they did in their concert DVD I'm trying to remember what year I want to say it was like 84 um, where they had this cool you know colorful stage where they open with hello again for anyone who who may know the cars very well but um, I'm, I'm gonna try to replicate that stage and I was thinking you know what that'd be okay if it was diagonal I'd be able to make it look good so I chose the cars to be the band to play in there so that's going to be a cool concert and it's going to be my final cars concert that i do and um not not because i don't like them or anything because um i they're one of my favorite bands but you know obviously since i'm getting towards you know the end of my you know minecraft concert kind of career thing whatever you want to call it um i need to start winding down you know need to start having final concerts artists and i only have because I want to end right at 300, and I'm at around 210 concerts right now. So even though 90 sounds like a lot of concerts, that, that will creep up pretty quick. And that 90 right now, there's not much room for you know artists to do a bunch of concerts. And uh, so Bill, Billy Joel, one of my favorite artists, only has two left. And one of them's going to be in Angel Stadium, and the other... Is going to be in an arena yet to be determined but yeah that's that um I will go ahead and show one more thing over here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway that's being built I have something here it's called bitch fest someone was being a bitch so I wanted to set up a little funny thing for them uh, their favorite band has to be living color so I'm gonna have a curtain right here and and at the beginning come out and be all like acting like li like I'm living color you know playing the concert you know and stuff but like two minutes into actually not even that much into cult of personality I'm just gonna stop and be like ah I'm just kidding this is bitch fest bitch and drop the curtain and um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up you know kind of like a like intervention talk show kind of seating up here and I might have to adjust these stairs a little bit. There'll be a little bit of a squeeze, but we'll see. 
And then after that, there'll be a curtain up here that will drop and unveil this, and it'll be the basically the life of the bitch. And and see, and you got you know the morning, and there's somebody watching him sleep, and you know, pretty cool. You go into the bathroom, same deal. Hello there, my friend. And yeah, you got a garage here and all that fun stuff. And don't worry, I have lights for all the rooms. And then at the end, I, I wanted, you know, I wanted something that would be very, very mature to end this with. All right, so I went ahead and put this here. And uh, you drop into the end, and um, I'm not going to do that because I don't feel like killing myself. Ah, YOLO. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and it says, um, welcome to Bitchville. And, uh, yeah, there you go. It wasn't, wasn't my idea to originally to put all these here, these uh, giant dildos, you can say. But um, somebody went, hey, we should do this. I was just like, okay. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty stupid, but it'll be funny. Anyways, um, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, eventually, I'm going to be converting um, VGM Stadium to get ready for a concert. So, Oh, and that's fun. Minecraft loves to crash all the time, so I guess I'll just go ahead and call it a video there. Stay tuned for that Billy Joel concert. I will see about possibly live streaming that. We'll see. But yeah, go ahead and stay tuned. Stay tuned for future content on the channel. I'm also going to be posting a huge update video because there's a bunch of stuff I, that I haven't gotten to, including even like to a talking badger. I mean, I did that like, I don't know, a year ago, maybe not that long ago. But I haven't even said why so i'll go ahead and include that you know in an upcoming video um what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be running around the entire island of gta again and after i do that then i'm going around it again on a bike and then again on in a car and then in a boat and then in an airplane so yeah it's it's gonna take like three and a half hours probably maybe even as much as four hours I actually no i don't know about three and a half hours it sounds about right but it's gonna take a while i'm gonna have plenty of time to talk so it'll be all squeezed in that video there'll be tons of room for commentary but anyways thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like subscribe all that fun generic mainstream stuff anyways